DICE and EA are all in on Battlefield. Marcus Leto's studio has finally revealed its name, and Ripple Effect Studios, aka DICE LA, are working on a brand new Battlefield experience. Yeah, what is up guys, Ghost here. So we are all in on Battlefield. That is the reassuring title of today's blog post over on EA.com, posted by General Manager Byron Bede as part of Battlefield's 20 year anniversary. And he has some very interesting things to say about the future of the franchise. I think a lot of us thought that after the failures of Battlefield 5 and of course 2042, that it was possibly the end for the entire Battlefield franchise, but it sounds like EA have no plans of throwing in the towel yet. We are all in on Battlefield. We are committed to unlocking its potential as one of the best first person shooter franchises in the world. To make that vision a reality, we've launched a global effort coordinating multiple studios under a leadership team of industry veterans to build a connected Battlefield universe. Now, one of the experiences in this universe is going to be a single player campaign headed up by Marcus Leto. You've probably heard of him before, that's the Halo guy. But what you won't have heard is the name of his new Seattle studio, which has just been revealed, Ridgeline Games. He'll be leading the charge to develop a narrative campaign set in the Battlefield universe that will engage fans in new and exciting ways while remaining true to the classic elements of the series. Now, initially, a lot of people thought this campaign would be for Battlefield 2042, but thankfully, that is not the case. DICE did clarify this, uh, that the new narrative campaign will not be a part of Battlefield 2042, but will be set in the Battlefield universe. I, for one, am thankful for that. I think even if they made a killer campaign for Battlefield 2042, there's just too much bad blood between the game and its audience, and any sort of a campaign with the specialist characters probably wouldn't go down too well. Okay, now this next bit is what really interests me. DICE is a multiplayer powerhouse and will use its expertise to continue developing Battlefield's one-of-a-kind multiplayer suite, while Ripple Effect is focused on creating an entirely new Battlefield experience that will complement and build upon the series' foundations. That sentence excites me and worries me in equal measure. An entirely new Battlefield experience that will complement and build upon the series' foundations. So, that sounds a lot like whatever Ripple Effect are building isn't your regular Battlefield game, which actually kind of disappoints me, because that's really what I want them to do. Now, this could turn out to be very good or very bad. After all, we all saw what happens when DICE tries new things. I'm looking at you, Firestorm, and Hazard Zone. On the other hand, the fact that it's Ripple Effect these guys have done some really great work on the Battlefield franchise. I don't want to take anything away from that. You know, back when they were called DICE LA, they were responsible for all the Battlefield 4 CTE testing that led to that game improving massively. And then since renaming to Ripple Effect, they more recently, of course, did all of the portal work for Battlefield 2042, which has been pretty good as well. So potentially, whatever they put out could be excellent. So far, a lot of people are jumping on Battle Royale, some kind of hero shooter that involves specialists or the like. Like I said, I wish they would just make a new Battlefield game that's just Battlefield. It sounds like they're going to give that mantle to Die Stockholm to take care of. And, well, I just really hope they're up to the job because recently, with Battlefield 2042, they haven't been proving me wrong. Anywho, I suppose all we can do is hope that they've learned something from Battlefield 2042's launch and uh, the way the community has reacted to that game. As always guys, leave me those thoughts below, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more Battlefield, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.